Hey there guys, this is ATH Shadow Angel here once again. Um, and today I'm going to bring you uh, something new, I suppose. <laughs> or newish. And of course, uh, because Orcs are being released this month, uh, I thought I'd bring you the uh, new flash kits. <coughs> so, uh, I was originally going to do an unboxing vid on these, uh, but I got them and I was looking through the sprues and that and so, so much uh, with this kit that it would have been something like a 15 minute vid um, looking at it, considering how much stuff there is and how many ways you can build bits and pieces and um, and everything. So I thought what I'd do instead is build them up uh, and then uh, just show you just some of the many many ways in which you can build these um, so as you can see the squad is built uh, so you get enough to build uh, five five flash kits uh, obviously with different bits and pieces uh, so the biggest customization thing with this and the kit are the guns themselves or the snaz guns uh, which you can which, if I just take this guy, which, uh, apart from the arm, because all this is all connected together, uh, in a bit. so uh, you get to choose. So you get a choice of different barrels for the end, different underslung weapon to go underneath. Uh, there's a there's a slot there as you'll see on some of them for uh, two underslung ammo bits and pieces or whatever uh, so you can get oil cans and stuff like that under their batteries uh, things like that so there's a whole variety of stuff that goes in between in that gap there um, the plating over the top you get there's an, two separate plates there's all kinds of different options in which you can mix and match and make the guns look really cool and unique uh, the back engine part down here is um, there's different covers for that as well, so you can have all kinds of different bits and pieces. There's a couple uh, left arm variants. Uh, I mean, with this guy, I've just gone with the big stogie cigar. There's another one that has a pistol. There's another one that has a bion uh, bionic uh, chopper arm, which looks really, really cool, which I'm saving possibly for something else. Uh, there's different ways you can put the ba banner plates. Um, there's a couple other ones in here. So if you want to have them do Pacific uh, war bands, then you can. Uh, but yeah, th uh, there's just so much with this kit, and the models look absolutely amazing. Um, so first and foremost, the the one thing that got me uh, quite a bit with these is how big they are. Um, I mean, I, I knew they were on Terminator bases anyway, um, but I was kind of expecting them to be your standard Orc Boy or Scar Boy or something like that, and then the gun was just that bit bigger, but it is not. It is huge. Um, if I just grab... Uh, yeah. So, this is what the flash kits used to be. Uh, this is the uh, metal model that they did for flash kits. And then this is the new version. So, as you can see, they are quite a bit bigger. They're a lot broader. Uh, now, what you've got to remember with the plastic ones is they're slightly crouched. Uh, due to obviously um, way down on the guns but yeah these are quite a bit bigger than the old one so but all in all you're looking at about a, I think they're about the same same sort of size and build as um, what the knobs, uh, knobs kit is so you're looking about that size uh, so as I've seen before, you've seen this guy, uh, so here's the other left arm variant that I was talking about, 
so massive revolver like slugger uh, now to me these look like melt, uh, melter barrels uh, but, you can try, uh, but you can get like the tripods uh, once again different engine variant more ammo box ammo cases underneath I love this to the um, oh, it's like a turn <coughs> turn handle to kind of wind up the the hammer I think it's absolutely brilliant there's some really nice uh, orky touches I'll say uh, to these guns or oh, to just these guys in general they're absolutely brilliant uh, they look orky and so now with this guy uh, you get quite a few of these actually uh, the ammunition uh, waste spray flying out of the uh, chute which you can add which you can choose to add or not uh, it's completely your choice uh, now I love this one just because you can have uh, three what looks like three big shooters all on the end of one gun which I think just looks awesome <laughs> uh, so but uh, yeah this is one of the leg sets uh, which gives you a uh, bionic left leg which I think looks quite cool uh, now obviously I will show these when they're all painted up so you'll be able to so um, a lot of these details will be able to be seen a bit better. Uh, so this is another one I really did like uh, the look of, which is effectively the end of a what looks like an old uh, old school plasma cannon. Uh, but it also comes with plasma rounds as well, which I thought was quite nice. So you can paint them up with a glowing centre plasma core. Um, so here's one of the other variants, which is like a. Uh, power generator battery like thing and I thought it looked cool to have it going off into the wires connected from the engine and be able to power all this and then the sticker shooter underneath just to give it that a bit more firepower because why not <laughs> <laughs> uh, the new git finder which is this tiny camera which you'll notice on all of them apart from one who has a squig uh, I believe in the new rules this allows them to have plus one to their ballistic skill so it means these orcs will be hitting on fours rather than fives because why wouldn't you want to give orcs with massive shooting ability a better chance of actually hitting um, <laughs> uh, so uh, then we come on to this bad boy uh, now I love this because it's a triple barrel god knows what uh, it's then got a custom uh, mega blaster underneath uh, with its own fuel tank uh, more bullet spray coming out the at the top and then the now this is quite interesting because I was a bit iffy about it when I saw it on the sprue because uh, what you get is you get the normal one down there which hangs off the bottom of the gun and then you get this random tailor off of bullets that come off the side uh, but what it does is it's Connect it connects it to the bottom of there, and it action it it proper so it gives it the uh, extended belt feed look, which I really really do like, and that should look really cool once it's all painted up. Uh, so uh, with this guy wanted to go quite uh, make him look a bit hot, more high tech. So he's got the fancy looking Git Finder, the Bionic Eye, uh, which is why I gave him the power core on there which is powered by this and uh, I'm trying to give it a you know some the, these a bit bit of meaning so that everything you know so it actually looks like a whole piece kind of thing and then throw a spare boot on his back for whatever reason um, and so yeah so there you go guys fairly kind of well I'm trying to be a quickish look at these absolutely fantastic models um, I'm sure the more, I suppose, uh, oh, how can I put, uh, the better people who can do, well, the people who can do better conversions or are more used to doing a lot bigger conversions will have a lot, a lot of fun with these models. Um, there is so much you can do with them. There's so many different combinations, uh, and as and as always with orcs, you can 
kit bash and everything else with them. Uh, but like I said before, you'll get some really cool spare bits out of this kit as well. So you'll you'll be able to put uh, the spare bits, obviously, from these guys into stuff like your boy, your boys mobs, your knob squads, uh, vehicle upgrade, you know, all sorts. There's loads and loads of potential for these. Um, so yeah, so uh, there you go, guys. Uh, I hope this kind of shed some light on some of the new Orky kits. Uh, hopefully the next vid will either be these painted or it will be a review on the new Orc Codex which results very soon uh, which I can't wait to get my hands on and have a proper proper look through it and see what uh, cool new bits and pieces Orcs have uh, which I will then uh, do a vid, uh, vid on here on um, and so yeah so that's uh, me done uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, the work in progress, progress stuff will be over on the Facebook page if you want to uh, keep up to date with how these guys are doing uh, in terms of painting wise and uh, things like that. Uh, so head over to there, which will be a link somewhere down at the bottom. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you very much. Catch you again later. Cheers.